Hello everybody, it's John back again playing more Cube World. Today we're going to take a look at the desert biome and right away I found a batch of critters which I think I've seen other biomes but I actually have some food for them this time. Let's see if we can tame a porcupine. Look at these guys, they love that. Blackberry marmalade. Oh. Oh boy. Okay, we got a bunch of them. Now they all want to fight me. That's the thing about... That's the thing about taming monsters. As soon as one of them likes you, they all want to fight you. The rest of them want to fight you after that. Let's go ahead and ride our porcupine, which sounds like a terrible idea. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's just part of the background. You can't actually do anything with it. Alright, let's head off and maybe try to find a dungeon or something like that. Well, no dungeon, but we got these mobs, which are unique to the desert, I think. I haven't seen them before. Devourers. Oh, they're are they big mouths? Oh, gross. Not too hard for my level. Mind you, the last couple dungeon runs I did were really fruitful. Oh, man, I'm not even equipped. I don't even have my weapon equipped right. There we go. Put it in my right hand. Look at that, I have a purple bow. I haven't gotten any rings, any useful rings. Um, but I have a purple bow, a blue amulet. Purple is higher than blue. Uh, blue is higher than green, and then green is higher than white. Uh, yeah, blue amulet, purple shoulders. I have a gold uh, glove, set of gloves. That's really nice. Those were That was a really sweet drop I got. Purple armor, blue boots, I have a purple lamp, yeah, so a bunch of really good, really good items. I'd like to get a gold weapon, that'd be awesome. Um, let's keep leveling our turtle, let's keep going with him. Check this out, I found... Some camels next to a little oasis area here. It's cool. The where there's water, the the ground actually turns green too, just like a just like in a in the desert. All the grass. Oh, the camels are hostile. Ah, they're not very strong though. They shouldn't be hostile. They need to learn to mind their manners around a expert ranger. Oh, I just got leftovers plus 54. Cool. We can identify those in a town and see if we get something good that's appropriate for our level. What is my power right now? My power is at 51, so we'll be at 54 pretty soon here. Bubblegum, already have it. Yeah, that's right, camels. You don't stand a chance against me. What's this dude over here? Oh, he's a nomad. He's red. Okay. I haven't seen nomads before. I'm gonna I'm gonna try him. Let's fire off our scout swiftness skill. Oh yeah, look at me. Look at me doing damage to him. Not really stunning him too well. Yeah, kick didn't stun him either. Whoa! Okay. Better get the hell away from this. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good damage to him, but but uh, can't stun him, and he hits me for a lot. Let me drop a silver coin and some copper. Now, one thing that's probably going to be a problem in desert biomes... What's that? Oh, a midge. Uh, one thing that's going to be a problem is your pets do need water every once in a while for you to be able to keep on riding on them. And I don't know if this desert's a little more... It's it's a little more flat than some of the other biomes, so you can't rely on, on hang gliding as much to get around. But yeah, water's going to be a little more scarce, so they're not going to have much to drink very often. Let's take this midge on. Yeah, that was easy. Something else I noticed, too, is these cactuses are actually destructible. I bet you they're the replacement for bushes. Yeah. Prickly pear. Oh, no, they're... D oh, prickly pears. Oh, yeah, you can make... Um, that's one of the recipes. Cactus potion plus 48. HP plus... So it's basically just the same thing as a, as a life potion. Yeah, but it just requires prickly pears instead of heart flowers. 
cool. So far I've seen a lot of different mobs in the desert biome as opposed to the snow biome. Here's another one. A sand horror. Uh, supposed to be like little sand... Little sand tornado-y looking dudes. Let's do Aaron Shield. Yeah, those guys are super low level. There's also this... What are these over here? They look like onionlings. They're desert onionlings. Yeah, they're just kind of retextured onionlings. Still, it's a new mob though. Yeah, the the snow biome needs a needs a bunch of new needs a bunch of new mobs. Desert is get is getting a lot of love so far. Here's my first time seeing these guys. Fire beetles. These guys spit at me or no? No, they're melee. For some reason, fire beetles made me think that they would they would be they'd be ranged guys. But they're kind of like uh, kind of like bark beetles, I guess. That's what they look like. Maybe they're like bark beetles and lemon beetles. All right, what else? All right, well, here's a named area. It's not really specific to the desert, but it's one of the canyon dungeons. We're in Gallon Canyon now, and it looks really cool in the desert biome. It looks kind of like the Grand Canyon with all the... You can see the, the strata, the different layers of, of earth sticking out from these outcroppings here. It's really cool. All right, let's go see if we can find something else. All right, guys, check it out. I was able to tame a desert runner using a caramel chocolate bar. That's specific to this biome. Looks kind of like a chocobo. That's pretty cool. Let's take him for a spin. Something I'm noticing, guys, and I might just be imagining it, is that uh, my pet, while I'm riding it, seems to be running out of stamina faster than in other biomes. Like I said, I might just be imagining it because, you know, I would... I would think that that's how it would work in a desert biome, but it's just something I thought I'd mention. Here's something cool, guys. I'm not sure if this is really working as intended, but it's kind of neat. Uh, one of the dungeon areas in this desert biome is a forest. Look at this, a forest in the middle of the desert biome. That's weird. Birds chirping. Green grass. Right in the middle of a desert biome. There's a there's a desert rock sticking out of the sticking out of the ground. <laughs> That's kinda cool. Alright. What else can we find? Okay guys, I think I found something cool here. Look at this pyramid. This has gotta be specific to the desert biome. Look at the entrance all the way up at the top there. Alright, let's go up and check it out. I can run right up here. <laughs> uh, let's see what this... It's white to me, so we should be able to just clear this out right away. Without too much trouble. Let's go ahead... Whoa. Whoa, I fell down quite a bit there. Okay. Nothing down in this area. Whoa! Okay, I'm gonna drink a potion. Okay, go down here. Fell down again. Oh, Ancient Guardian. Awesome. They're blue to me too. They're not uh they're not white. Cool. Ancient Guardian. Oh, there's a there's a genie. A gin with a mosquito and a two mosquitoes and a cat following him. Oh. Oh, okay, I don't want to get overconfident. Got the mosquitoes. My pet is doing a good job of tanking. Oh, he's got a pet slime, too. Wow, he's got a lot of stuff. I wonder if he can just summon those dudes. Alright, we got him. Oh, yeah, this is a really cool... This is a really cool dungeon. Clean wood crossbow. Yeah, look at how good my my purple plus 43 is. Yeah, the a purple is a purple of a certain level is way better than stuff that's normal stuff that's 
a few levels above it even. I mean, even this green is kind of rare, but look at the damage. The damage on the on the purple is plus 32, and the damage on the crossbows, green crossbow is only 24. What did we just get? Dusty wood bow plus 42. Oh boy! Let's take a closer look at this ancient guardian. Oh, cool. Yeah, he's wearing a little headdress. That's awesome. It's not awesome as he's drinking a potion. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can clear out my way to the boss. And I'll show you guys what he looks like in a little bit. Okay, guys, I fought my way to the boss of this pyramid. He's a named Ancient Guardian. He's blue to me. Not any plus levels. I don't see anyone else besides these roaming skeletons. Let's see if I can get this guy alone. Come on. Yeah, I think I got him by, by himself. Okay, great. Turn on Scout Swiftness. Oh! I'm going to drink a potion right away. Right, I'll see if I can take him down. Okay, guys, yeah, this guy seems to have some pretty powerful strikes, but we're having a lot of success with him. There we go! 362 XP. That was pretty good for a guy that was, you know, not impossible to beat, like a lot of these dudes can be. Got a purple sword. Got a cube. Got some daggers. Some money. All right, let's go ahead and get the last couple of these guys out of here after having a little bit of food. All right, a skeleton and a cat. No problem. These skeletons, these skeletons actually have a lot of a lot of health. First time I fought one of them, I wasn't expecting the skeleton to have a lot of health. Usually skeletons in in role-playing games and things like that, they tend to be a little bit weaker. These guys actually have a lot of health. All right, great. They cleared out the pyramid. All right, guys, we're going to say goodbye as the sun is setting on the desert biome here. Hope you guys enjoyed my first look at this. It was pretty cool taking a look at all these new mobs. I will talk to you later.